In the last video, we learned how to use the object tracking feature in Superimpose V. Tracking is an automated tool, and sometimes it may not be so accurate. Also, it can only change the position of a layer and not scale it. So sometimes, you can combine tracking with keyframes to get the desired result. For example, in this video clip, I want to blur the face of the person. And to do that, I have added this adjustment layer. On this adjustment layer, I am going to add the blur effect. And increase the blur amount. And to blur only the face part, we need to add a mask. I am going with this radial masking tool. And adjust the size and fade to cover only the face. We will need to invert the mask so that only the face is blurred. But we are going to do that later, for now we want to keep the face visible. Now let us bring up the tracking tool and move the rectangle to cover the face. We need to adjust the width and the height of the rectangle to fit the face exactly inside. And then tap on the start tracking button. And now we can scrub the video to have a look at the tracking. We kept the face visible so that we can see it while using the tracking tool. And since the tracking is done, we can invert the mask to make the face blur. Now let's play it. As the person comes closer, the face looks bigger, but the mask size remains the same. Plus there are some inaccuracies in the tracking job towards the end of the clip. This is where we can use keyframes. Let us move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. We will have to go back to the mask effect where we need to add the keyframes. Add one keyframe at the beginning of the clip. And then just keep adjusting the size and the position of the mask wherever we need to. Every time we change something to the mask, the app automatically adds a keyframe there. We are increasing the mask radius and also fixing the inaccurate tracking positions using the keyframes. And now, let's play it. This looks perfect. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.